So recently I've been experimenting with lots of different tips and tricks when it comes to the gym to get a better burn, a better intense workout, better intensity. And I've been looking from fucking C-Bums coach Hanny Rambo to Greg Duchesne to Jeff Nippard, all of these sort of knowledgeable people, at least they claim to be very knowledgeable, right? And really there's only three things that have really, really helped me. And in this video, I'm gonna be outlining these three. The first of which is drop set and supersets. So this is something I've been a long fan of. So drop sets and then a drop set and then a drop set and then a drop set and then a drop set. I just love hammering away at my muscle. It gives me, after doing like five drop sets in a row of let's say rear delts, right? Just doing this, doing this. It feels amazing once you finish that mega drop set set where it's literally from 50 kg maybe on rear delts, 40, 30, 20, all the way down, drop setting, fail, okay. Maybe, maybe you incorporate something like Mike Mensa's pause, pause rest or whatever. So that basically you drop down a set, okay, rest for five seconds and then you do it again, you do it again, you fail, okay. Don't put it down another set yet, don't do the drop set yet. Okay, rest five more seconds. All right, do it. you fail, you fail. Okay, now you drop set, now you drop set, and then you drop set, and then all the way down to maybe like 18 or something. And then once you get out of that momentum, get out of that phase, right, that drop set session, I guess you can call it, you feel so fucking amazing. You feel so fulfilled and your muscles will burn like hell. If you were to touch them, you'd probably feel sore right away. And that is the power of drop set, drop set, drop set, drop set. Honestly, that is a thing that I've been cherishing and championing. I'm not sure if that's a word, championing. Fuck it, let's just make it a word, right? Championing ever since the beginning of my gym journey. And honestly, it has been the most helpful thing for exploding my growth. And what I used to do back in the day in this crappy old gym, right? This really small gym that didn't really have any equipment at all. I would just sit on a machine for literal like 30 minutes per machine. I'd just be there. Yep. Just doing that. Fail. Okay. Wait like five minutes. Okay. Do it again. Okay. We're dropping down now. Fail. Okay. Let's um, wait five minutes. Okay, maybe not five minutes, right? It's like probably one minute, one, two minutes, just there. All right, let's fail. Okay, drop set, a drop set, drop set, drop set. And that gave me so much growth in the beginning. It's insane how far I've come from 40 kg, 40, 45 kg anorexic looking motherfucker to now a 75 kg lean bulky. Now this this lighting doesn't do me justice, right? If if there's spotlights there, then I'd actually look fucking hench as shit, but unfortunately there's not. And the first point is drop sets. Make sure if you're feeling like a bitch, if you feel like your workout isn't intense enough, you're not getting that insane soreness you once felt as a beginner, right? The first few days in the gym, you got insanely sore. You literally couldn't get up from bed. If you want that same soreness again, start incorporating drop sets upon drop sets upon drop sets. One of my favorite things to do. Number two is Hani Rambo's failures. The way he teaches C-Bum and like other... Other influencers like Shizzy, Trend Twins, uh, C-Bum, this is how he teaches them to fail. And it's basically proper form, no momentum at first, proper form, proper form. And then once you get really tired from the full, no momentum, proper form sets, right? He tells you to do mini baby reps, baby reps, baby reps for at least like five or something, right? Five is the recommended amount from Tom Platt's and... I've seen Hanu Ram Rambo do like three and five. And once you get over the baby reps, you're not done yet. You have to use the momentum. This is where you use the momentum, right? Let's say it's the rowing machine. I use this on the rowing, rowing machine the other day, right? And it's once you're done with the baby reps like this, like where you literally don't use your arms, right? Because using your arms, you're just gonna use your arms. But with the rowing machine, you're, you're gonna hit this bit basically. And you gotta do that. You got to momentum all the way back and then just hold it, 
hold it fight your way back like like fight it when it goes down it wants to go there right it wants to go down right but just fight it fight it and you'll know if you've actually put in the work in the baby reps and the pro proper form you will know if you literally cannot fight it if you can fight it somewhat right that just means you haven't properly like broke through the barriers in your brain to fully like be vulnerable be be fully um what, what do you call it engage your muscles fully maybe there's a barrier in your brain that's stopping you from fully engaging your muscles and so the best thing to do from there if you're not fully engaging your muscles is just do another set of that so to re recover this so to re-summarize and recover this do proper form proper form proper form proper form and then once you're tired and you can't you literally can't do a proper form anymore do baby reps but do it make sure it targets the main muscle so the main muscle for rows right as an example is this bit so just literally do shrugs like backward shrugs like that until you can't do any more baby reps and then you swing it back with the momentum and that is when you hold it you hold it all the way back down and it should look something like this and of course your face is going to be struggling and it's all going to be shriveled up in the shit and you'll have an insane burn in your muscles for that in my case this was a stubborn muscle right each back workout i couldn't really hit this as much it, it always hit my back up here but it didn't really hit this bit with the rows obviously i hit it with the lats like that but it never really hit like that and so basically what i did was Target that muscle first. I went into my back workout, right? And I immediately went on the rowing machine first. Usually I go for the lats, lat pull down, but I immediately went for this because I was just tired of not hitting this. And that, honestly, it still hurts until now. Like if I press hit, it just feels sore and it hurts. And that is the power of Hanny Rambo's failure technique i guess i'll call it that number three is an insanely insanely powerful tip that honestly bro it, it it's like otherworldly it's like being a superhuman now this i originally discovered from a medium newsletter maybe it was medium it, it's just some article right and also from joe rogan and um people who do cold therapy and like biohacky type of shit right and it's basically if you Take a cold bath, ice bath, before your workout, you can increase your testosterone by so fucking much. If you pair the cold bath first, ice bath, and then you go and have your workout, it will actually make your muscles feel the burn more, and then you feel more muscle engagement, and then you engage your muscles more, and then you feel the burn more, and then it's just like that. And then also with that, you'll get like times 500% testosterone apparently and um, you can go literally look this up right cold baths before a workout you'll find a guy if i'm if i'm remembering this correctly you find an old guy that had like literally borderline or decreasing levels of testosterone and he was about to be placed on like trt or whatever uh testosterone replacement therapy right but instead he chose to go into ice baths and then work out and then he did that for like several several weeks and then he went back to his physician and apparently he recovered his testosterone so fucking much that his physician thought that he was on TRT. But he wasn't. He, he just took fucking ice baths before a workout. But of course, I, I know what you're thinking, right? And um, I think this as well. Cold bath, ice, ice bath, we don't, we don't have that luxury, right? We don't have a fucking... Two thousand dollar, two thousand pound shit in the back garden with a bunch of ice. We don't have that. And if we were to take a cold shower in our bathtubs in our bathroom, we can't afford ice that much ice this time. Like at this time, anyways. So the best method and how I do it is instead of taking a bath, take a cold shower. Just a normal, simple cold shower. That honestly, bro. You have to submerge your whole body and this this i know even a cold shower may sound hard for you right but honestly it's about incremental steps i've made a whole video on this but i don't think it's i think it's a little bit outdated now so i'll just give you 
a quick tip right here, right, on how to take cold showers. You want to be pumped up. You want to be pumped up, at least at least for the first few days of your cold shower journey. You want to be pumped up. You want to be watching people like David Goggins. You want to be looking into Wim Hof. And then you 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 gain this intrinsic motivation to take cold showers. And then that way you can sort of like come along with me on this journey, right? Try this technique out with me. And just try getting in a cold shower. Most importantly, get it on your head, right? Get your whole head soaked. Keep on doing this shit. And honestly, it cleanses you. If you have a quick quick plug for the cold showers, right? I know I'm going a little bit off topic, but if you literally take cold showers and before the cold showers, you're like fucked up. You're a little bit deranged. Your, your brain doesn't work as well from a, a hard days of work or whatever. You take the cold shower, you like swipe your hair back like this. You keep on washing your face and you like keep on getting that cold exposure, right? You come out the shower feeling clean and spiritually, mentally clean. You feel like relaxed because you just overdosed your body with adrenaline and you start to feel good now. And that's just a quick plug. But essentially, if you get the cold on your skin and get the cold shower on, you go to the gym, you will feel the burn in your muscles so much fucking more because your muscles are cold, right? And you have to warm them up by exercising. And it just feels insane. It feels so much better than if you were to be like so, so nice and warm and protected and then go to the gym, right? To warm yourself up. But no, if you co- make yourself cold, even even if it's just a win, right? Sometimes I notice sometimes with my work as well, I don't take a cold shower before it. If it's just cold win, if you're standing in a cold wind for ages and ages, you go in the gym, you do the reps. It's it's basically the same effect as well. And alongside that, of course, you get your very nice boost of testosterone. If you're interested in a quick shameless plug, bro, just allow it, right? If you're interested in a high ticket lean one-on-one coaching program on fitness you can sign up in the description below sign up for like a 15 minute calen- calendly call to see if you're right for the program or whatever i'm only taking five spots so this is a really special product i'm proud of for once in my life anyways thank you so much for watching bro in a bit